Hi, my name is Trevor and uh, I run a blog called astrobackyard.com where I show my latest astrophotography images and share some of the details of uh, how I shot them and how I process them. So if you're interested in astrophotography, you probably might get a kick out of my blog. Uh, and tonight is a Saturday night. I'm just having a late dinner now, but uh, it's clear tonight, even though the forecast is partly cloudy. Um, it looks like it might be alright for some astrophotography, and it is new moon. There's actually a very thin uh, two-day crescent moon tonight, so hopefully I can start my night with uh, getting some shots of that. Uh, but I'm running against the clock here because it's getting lower and lower. So we'll see about that, and I don't even know what I'm going to image tonight. I've been thinking about the Needle Galaxy, um, although that won't show up very big in my Explore Scientific Refractor 80mm scope, and that's what I want to use tonight, so hopefully the night goes well, and um, hopefully you come along with me for this night of astrophotography. I forgot to mention that it's uh, minus 10 tonight. It's unseasonably cold for almost mid-April we're at right now. It's not fair. So, we're going to bundle up. Also, I just wanted to thank the over 70 subscribers to this channel. I am overwhelmed with the uh, response and all the positive comments. And uh, all you guys are right into this hobby. And I'm so glad to be able to share it with you guys. So, thank you to all the subscribers. That's great. Hey, who am I talking to? <laughs> so I think we're going to be able to get a shot of the waxing crescent moon. That's still high enough. Rudy's barking at something, but that's okay. So, uh, here we go. I apologize, guys. This is going to be some rough footage, but uh, time is of the essence here. As you can see, the moon is right there, and the top of my garage is right there. So, I'm going to try and make this happen. So here's my scope set up, uh, and I've got to go through the uh, alignment process here. So we are aligning on Betelgeuse. Okay, so I manually found the moon. It's getting very low, barely going to make it. I need to put this adapter on the camera that I'm using right now to shoot a video of the moon, but I think we're going to do it, so wish me luck. This is the, honestly the first time I'm, I'm focusing it right now as you're watching live. So it looks a little overexposed. A lot of earth shine, looks beautiful. As you can see, I'm focusing on the telescope right now. Uh, so you can see the earth shine. So I'm just gonna roll the uh, ISO down. Actually, the exposure. Let's see, there we go, get some detail. Beautiful. So I'm going to take a few shots now. So right now I thought it would be cool to just show you uh, what my skies are looking like. Um, it is early in the night and it is April 8th. So Orion is setting. Uh, it is galaxy season. Uh, but I'll just show you kind of what the views are like from my backyard. I'm, I'm going to display a few photos. So the first one you're looking at here is Orion setting in the west with the crescent moon. Uh, you can see the trees that I have to deal with, uh, and it only gets worse in the summer, of course, when they're all full of leaves. Uh, next, we're going to look up to the north towards the Big Dipper. Um, so the best views 
I have are straight up. Um, I mean that that's kind of everyone, right? You're you're going you're there's less um, turbulence in the air. Uh, I mean you have light light pollution all around you in the glow, but um, straight up is the best, and that's definitely because I'm in the heart of the city. That's where where my best views are. So like when Cygnus is straight up in the sky uh, in the middle of summer, uh, imaging stuff up there. That's where I uh, I can I can have my longest exposures without totally blowing the image out. So yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. So I've decided on imaging the Needle Galaxy. I've got uh, the scope set up with the uh, camera and the adapter. Uh, the mount is calibrated, uh, polar aligned, and I'm just uh, starting up PhD guiding now. So uh, the camera's connected, the mount's connected. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and begin looping the exposures. See what the camera looks like. So as you can see, some stars there. In the field, I'm just going to um, focus my guide scope. As you can see, the stars there. So uh, since I'm actually on the Needle Galaxy now, I'm going to start calibrating in this location of the sky. When you're using PHD, you want to calibrate in the same area of the sky that uh, you're going to be imaging in. You don't want to, say, calibrate in the east and then move to an object in the west and start guiding there because it's not going to be calibrated for that area. So, this is going to go through its um, process and uh, Hopefully it all goes well and we'll start uh, shooting the Needle Galaxy. So I'm in uh, Backyard uh, EOS right now and I'm in the Frame and Focus tab. And uh, some things to note right now, I just did a 15 second exposure test frame. Uh, and uh, if you can see over here, it says 2.6. So that is uh, the size of that star right there. So I can take another 15 second frame and see if, uh, after adjusting focus, and see if I can get that 2.6 to be a lower number. Uh, but I know that 2.6 is pretty much as low as it goes for, for me in this camera, in this scope, so I'm gonna keep the focus I have. Uh, and then the other cool thing is uh, I can see that I'm in the right spot because I can see the needle galaxy here. You probably can't see it on the screen, but uh, the Needle Galaxy is right here, so my calibration was good. I'm just going to, um, be, being the frame and fro uh, focus tab, I'm going to frame this object up so that uh, the Needle Galaxy is right in the center of the frame. Okay, so right now, uh, PhD is guiding on my guide star. As you can see, the graph here looks good. You want this graph to be a nice straight line like it is right here. Uh, and here's my uh, exposure time running. So this is shot one of 20 for 180 seconds at ISO 1600. Uh, and so that's a three minute shot. Um, I have dither on, so it's gonna dither each frame, which means it's gonna move the um, the camera slightly. Uh, it's going to move the mount, which will will move the camera uh, slightly for each shot to uh, help cancel out some of the noise. So yeah, we'll uh, we're up and running here on the Needle Galaxy, and let's let's see how it goes. Mm -hmm. 